still just a big mess out there. A fire hydrant burst in the Alberta Arts District this morning, and neighbors are reporting dirty water from their faucets. The Portland Water Bureau believes the hydrant at Northeast 29th was hit by a vehicle at some point, leading to the flooding this morning. Fox Falls Carly Olson is live at the site where this all began. Carly. Yeah, Pete, you can still see how this entire section of concrete around the fire hydrant was practically ripped out of the ground during this incident. And the entire thing is uh, surrounded by danger tape still as well. And uh, Portland Water Bureau tells us that with all of the weather-related calls they are receiving, they have no idea when they will be able to come back to fix the actual water hydrant. But uh, in the meantime, businesses are still unsure when they will be operational again, and neighbors are still left with dirty water. Water. Neighbors say the fire hydrant burst Monday morning before 10 a.m. and it didn't take them long to notice a change. I lifted up like the tank thing. It was like darker brown in there. Yeah, it was pretty nasty. I texted um, my neighbors see if they also had any because I was worried it was just in our house and they all agreed they had it too so it made me feel better. The Gladskis walked to the store with their neighbors to fill up on fresh water and they say they haven't been given any word on when the water will return to normal. We're strong people. I'm not too worried about it. We'll get through. Down the road on Northeast Alberta, the water crept up to the doors of businesses. Well, I got a call saying that uh, the water main had broken and that there was water coming up to my front door. So my neighbor put out some uh, sandbags for me and kept it from going inside. And so that was cool. The water at George Johnson's business has been shut off since the flooding happened. They planned to open it a few weeks and the combination of the water issues and the winter weather may be a setback. There was people supposed to be working this weekend that couldn't make it out so there's some construction that is a little bit delayed. It's still up in the air. He says he expects other businesses to have even greater impacts. With the restaurants you know you can't be open without water without dishwashers and uh, so they're probably going to have to be closed uh, for a little bit. Hopefully it'll go back to normal in the next couple days. The Portland Water Bureau tells us that it is pretty normal for sediment to get into the water and create some colored water when pipes are disrupted. And this situation should resolve itself within a few hours. But for neighbors who are still experiencing this, the Water Bureau provided some extra tips for you guys to use. And you can check those out on the web version of this story at kptv.com. Live in Northeast Portland, I'm Carly Olson, Fox 12 Oregon.